So you obviously like doing films with a political orientation. What drives you towards sort of the controversial and, and the political as opposed to just the the art? Because you've made stuff that really is not political For sure. and, and, is, and is wonderful. I mean, I've, I've been a huge fan of the film Whiplash since it first came oh, out. Thank you. I bought it on DVD. I then bought it on streaming. I mean, it really Love is it. fantastic. Thank I've you. recommended it to everybody. I put it in my top 10 list of the last 10 years. Wow, it's, it's, thank you. It's, it's fantastic. So what, what, what makes you want to do political film and step um, into the hornet's nest? I don't, I want to do good, scary, entertaining, visceral, fun movies. That's first and foremost. If there happens to be kind of a political, I'm a political person. If there happens to be a political bent to it, I'm attracted to that. But it's not a, it's not a, priority. It's not a mandate for the company. My executives aren't sitting with filmmakers saying like, what issue do you want? Issue oriented movie do you want to do? There are companies that do that. We do not. I would even go so far as to say if I'm sitting with a director and they say like, you know, you made Get Out, you made The Purge, you made The Hunt. Like, I want to do a political movie. I want to do it about X topic. I want to do about global warming. I, I say we're in trouble because you can't, I think it's virtually impossible to make a fun, entertaining movie and think of the topic first. I think you have to think of it. What, what's in your heart that's like super scary and whatever. And if you can fold politics into that, Jordan thinks about race all the time, clearly. He was, he was brought up by mixed race parents. And so he thinks about it's something that is on his mind all the time. So Get Out came out of his head. But right, it's I, in the Key and Peele sketches, obviously. Yeah, clearly, obviously, obviously. But I don't think, I, I, it, it has to be organic to the artist. It can't be like, just like I said, like you can't like, I want to say, make a story about global warming. I'm going to make a, make a scary story about it. We, I'll tell you a funny, funny story. We did a, where, that, where we did exactly that is uh, Barry Levinson lives on a, uh, the Chesapeake Bay, which was very polluted. And he wanted to make a documentary about the Chesapeake Bay. And his agent said, you know, you should make a documentary. You should make a horror movie about the Chesapeake Bay and many more people will see it. We made it. It's called The Bay. Nobody saw it. <laughs> so it doesn't work. <laughs> it's funny you should say this because this has been my lead advice to, to conservatives who say they want to get into film. So one of the great one of the great complaints of conservatives about Hollywood, again, is not only that it's politically biased, but why aren't there more conservative films right. that get made? And what I always say to them is because conservatives have kind of a dolphin brain when it comes to entertainment, which is they say that they are interested in conservative entertainment, but then when it comes time to fund it, they're like, well, I'd actually rather invest in fracking. And then when it comes to what they want to watch, <laughs> what they actually want to watch is the same stuff that everybody else wants, wants to, to watch. watch. And so the only kind of films that you can get conservatives to pledge to see are either openly religious films, so it's basically an altar right, call, right. Uh, or politically overt films, where again, it's sort of a doc, like you'll do better off a documentary that's openly about conservative a, about than a, anything about that is subtle. Because right? yeah. there, there, are, there are films that have fairly conservative themes. I mean, one of my colleagues here, Andrew Clavin, famously suggested that The Dark Knight had some pretty conservative themes about that's government surveillance and the right. role of government surveillance in American society right. and all of this. And But, but conservatives who are interested in film tend to think of the thematic first because they're Which thinking through mistake. that prism. They and should think of their childhood first or their, you know, what their, some intimate story or some story that they've, that they're attached to. And then if they're interested in getting conservative values out there in entertainment, that will bleed through. But they have to think of the story first. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.